Samsung. There's been a lot of interesting movement happening, happening uh, among the Chinese smartphone players coming up from behind. Talk to us about the dynamics we're seeing players like Huawei and Oppo, you know, unseating players like Xiaomi. Yes, indeed. I mean, Huawei is a company that's been on the rise for a long time. Um, you know, obviously, they've got a bit of a controversial backing there, but they're quite a powerhouse. They've got a lot of infrastructure. And that's what a lot of people don't understand about Oppo and Vivo, which are now the number two and three players, respectively. A, they're all owned by, actually, or Oppo and Vivo are owned by the one company. Um, and so they actually have a lot of factories, they have a lot of infrastructure in place to dominate the market, which is exactly what they've done in conjunction with some really smart marketing targeting the youth uh, segment as well as the rural segment, which is something that Xiaomi has been slow to capitalize on. Now, I want to talk about Xiaomi in particular. We spoke with Hugo Barra, who heads their sort of global expansion plans, and talked about uh, the issue being a supply, not a demand issue. Take a listen to what he had to say. The challenge for us is to make sure that we work our supply chain to meet demand, and in fact, to meet demand much earlier in the cycle, you know, in the life cycle of a product. Uh, so, from a demand perspective, our business has never been healthier in China. We really, really just have to make sure that our supply chain catches up, and this is one of the most important, if not the most important, thing that we have to work on as a company. David, is it clear that that is the case? That this is a supply issue and not a demand issue? Look, to be honest, that's not completely clear because in our channel checks and when we talk to different suppliers, there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of backlog at the moment. There was an issue back in February, especially when some Taiwanese suppliers suffered an earthquake. Uh, but since then, most things have caught up. Uh, you know, if, if Apple can get its units out the door, then I think Xiaomi can as well.